morning vlog. It's dumb here. Today, we got another video. Same old, same old. Doing what I always do. Go ahead into the gym right now. It's about 7.50 right now. Um, I actually leave today. I have an exciting secret to tell y'all. I leave today. I'm going out of town for till Saturday. And I'm y'all gonna find out as we go along. So it's gonna be a little bit of surprise. But um, it's someone that you guys know that has been in the vlog. So it's gonna be exciting. If you're new here, what's well, good? Um, hope y'all like the videos. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Look at my old videos if you're trying to get, understand what I'm doing and who I am and all that. But yeah, I'm about to head to the gym, get some work in, and I'm gonna go home, shower, do some work, and I'm gonna be out of here. So I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all then. good y'all so I actually forgot um, to like let y'all know that none of the video that I recorded in my workout like all of it none of it was recorded like I didn't even press the record button so I was like bro I was so pissed once I found that out the entire workout was not recorded and I was, when I looked when I went to the camera after the workout was done because I didn't move it or nothing I saw that and I was like I was like there's no way but we got like I was able to record the two on two stuff, but that was pretty much it. And I was like, damn. So once I got home, I, I literally slept the whole time and then I just finished packing. Um, I got to go to the gym to get some like more compression shorts and just some like little knickknacks out for my trip. Um, I still haven't told y'all where I'm going, but we're going to find out very, very soon. I promise you guys. So just stay tuned with the video. I know I'm probably pissing y'all off and I bet some of y'all are fast forwarding the video, which you shouldn't do. Watch the whole video. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go to the store real quick, uh, and I'm gonna catch y'all when I get back to the house, and I'm probably gonna leave in like 20, 30 minutes once I get back, so I'm gonna see y'all in like a tad bit. Uh, yeah, let's go. So we have a special guest here, and this is who I was keeping a secret from you guys, and guess who I'm with? That's a wrong guess. Boom! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> We're going to San Dallas, we're driving to Waco. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. We're just spending some quality time together. You know, Christine really wants me to come to Waco, so I'm coming to Waco or ta Texas. So it's my second time in Texas. Is it? Third time in Texas, actually. But, you know, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. More information can be found at LA. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we're, we're, we've landed and where are we? Dallas? Yes. Where are we going to get, where are we going to eat? We're going to Bucky's. I don't know what the heck is Bucky's. Apparently she knows what it is and Sam knows what it is. If you don't know what it is, in Texas, if you're right now on any road trip and you don't stop at Bucky's, you're weird. Okay. That's a Texas staple. It's a Texas staple. Well... I know it's in Tennessee and stuff, but they be stealing our stuff all the time. They stole our Whataburger too, so it's okay. Whataburger is trash. Like, I didn't know it was really better than Whataburger, bro. Keep it a buck. Okay, <laughs> if, you want, if you want just bread, meat, and cheese, go ahead. Bro, bread, meat, and cheese. Whataburger is trash. Uh, but do you have breakfast? Oh, okay. What do you ah. want for breakfast? You want, you want bread, meat, and cheese? <laughs> you got that on deck in the back. Oh, you want some cardboard fries? Cardboard yeah. fries, bro. Yeah, she's yeah. violating. Anyways, but Auntie's gonna pick us up. We gotta get our. We're gonna, Auntie is her mom. Um, we gotta get our luggage, and then we're gonna be at the Airbnb. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I feel like there's just a lot of people waiting and they don't need to be waiting and they need to do a lap. What's good YouTube? It's morning time, so good morning to all. Um, it's currently like almost 10 o'clock, so right now I am in Waco, Texas with Christine. Basically, 
um, last night, as y'all saw, we um, we got in really late. We got in around 11, 11-ish. Um, and then after we got in, we actually like drove to Waco because we flew into Dallas and that took us a little bit. And then after we did that, we went to go get food. We came to Airbnb and then we headed, came back. Um, and that probably took like an hour, or t like three hours in total. Just because Fort Dallas is an hour and a half or something like that from Waco. Today, we're waiting for her dad to, sh to, to come. Um, they're driving us to pick up her car. Cause I'm just going to take y'all along with me. Y'all going to meet new people, see what we're doing. I'm going to switch through to my phone and my camera sometimes just depending on what's most convenient and that's near me just because I'll probably be playing and working out and stuff so the camera might not always be the most convenient thing especially like I don't want to just set it down somewhere and you know it disappears so hope you enjoy the vlog stay tuned it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun week I want y'all to enjoy the vlog week in a life week in a life or something like that with me and take you on just the journey of the off season and doing fun things with your friends so all right, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in a few when I see y'all next thing. Peace. All right. I'm back. I'm kind of scared, y'all, because I ain't never been in the car with her driving before. Please. So we're going to see what her driving like, gang. I used to be the passenger princess. Now Dom is the passenger. Now I'm the passenger princess. <laughs> Yo. Well, I want, like, breakfast. Does it have, like, does like Sonic have breakfast? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go Sonic. Um, Sonic! I think they saw it. This is how wide I want it to be, like this wide. But I have to have it all the way up. Oh. Hey guys. Also. Hey guys. Well, you gotta, you gotta recap what we did already. Okay, so we just finished our camp, first day of camp. You didn't really see much footage, unfortunately. Now I think forgot to record. I was busy, I, I was busy being Giving a good, bucket. yeah, no, I was busy oh. instructing the kids on what to do. Oh, go ahead. That works too. Since that's the excuse she wants to give. <laughs> After playing a little bit, we're gonna do a little weight workout, you know. This is the gym, and you're gonna see us putting that work. Got Joe, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's gonna be a good time. Let's get this working. How was your workout, gang? Hey, man, it was pretty good, man. It's a different vibe for sure, but. Cool. What's up, you guys? Um, it is Wednesday. It's about 10 15. Um, today has been a crazy day. Um, I haven't recorded anything. Just because today's been kind of hectic. So basically, morning we woke up and we was heading to the gym to go to the camp, to work the camp. And Christina ended up having, um, her tire was like flat. So I woke up, had to go get her tire changed and all that. And then she wasn't feeling well. So she went back home and I went to the gym to work the camp with some of her friends and her old teammates. So I was with them most of the day. But the craziest thing happened and i'm just so grateful god is so amazing um and he's just really working not just in my life but just through other in other people's life and i'm about to tell you all the story about it because i think this is really important for us believers and people that may not believe how important it is to do what god called you to do Christine invited me to come to this trip um a, a while back like a few months ago like you know what i was like you know what? i'm just gonna go so i sent her the, i at like her mom got us a flyer i sent them the money to pay for the flight because she got a flight together and um so yeah so it wasn't like it wasn't that i didn't want to go i wanted to come but uh, you know i like i'm a homebody i love to stay home i love to be in bed i love to be with my husband so i don't i i, I don't mind going out but I also love my room 
so the crazy part was so I ended up going I came obviously and God was telling me how like some somebody was gonna be saved and like I was gonna have a conversation with somebody and they're gonna be saved I don't know if that was anybody from the camp and I and I knew where we were staying at there's like three two other rooms there's three rooms and I knew other people were staying with me and Christine besides besides me and her would be me her and her friend and some of her friends old friends from um, high school that were working the camp with us and I'm like okay so I get here not really expecting much I'm just kind of going for the ride obviously we got in late you saw um, that we worked out yesterday as you guys saw God um, I'm gonna ask Jordan if it's okay if I share this um, through my YouTube so I'm gonna ask her or maybe I'm just not gonna name her name we're not gonna say names but someone specifically um, told me God told me I was gonna talk to her about God and her relationship with God and I was like okay God like okay but when like and about what so last night I was reading Ephesians 6 uh, verse 10 through 23 and it's based on uh, spiritual warfare. And um, I was actually texting a friend close to me that who's having spiritual warfare as well. And I just kind of check, check, texted her to check in on her and everything. And she was telling me she was doing spiritual warfare and she's been struggling and stuff. And so God spoke to me and told me that this girl um, has a spirit with her, and he needs, like, he needs me to speak, talk to her. And she's a very sweet person, very nice person, and I'm actually going to ask permission if it's okay that I share this on my YouTube channel. And I, I won't name her name, she doesn't want to be named, but I just won't say her name. God, um, I asked God, I'm like, do you want me, you know, obviously speaker, he said yes. <clears throat> so, the next day comes around, Christine's other friend um, had AU practice. Christine's obviously home, so just me and her here at the Airbnb. This was today, so after the camp, we came home, just me and her here. And she comes in my room after we both took a nap, and she's like, she just coming to her say, uh, like, basically wake me up and say, hey, or whatever. And she tells me that she had, um, she had sleep paralysis. Like she, she, like said sleep paralysis, and she was like, saying like she has it all the time. <clears throat> and in that moment, I knew that that's, that was my, that was my cue to, to talk to her about God, about whatever. He, he was calling me to talk to her about. So I go in the kitchen. She goes in the kitchen. I go in the kitchen. And I'm sitting there and I'm talking to her and I'm like, God, like, when do you want me to say? And he tells me he needs her back. So I need her back. And so I said, so I bring up the sleep paralysis. Being in tune with the voice of God. Like, I'm not perfect. There's times where I've heard God and I've ignored him. But this time I listened. Or there's times where I just don't listen. I'm like, God, like, that's weird. Like, but I'm telling you, like, we listen. Like, listen, because what I'm about to tell you guys is crazy. And how this, how it worked out, it's crazy. Um, God tells me he needs her back. So I bring up her sleep paralysis and I'm like, hey, like, do you get that all the time? Like, does that always happen? And and I tell her, I said, I said, God, I said, when I first met you, God told me that you had a spirit with you. And she looked at me, she said, I said, you're, 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 you have a good soul, you have a good heart, but there's a spirit that's on you, that the reason why you're having the sleep paralysis. And so she sits down and she's like, like, just listening to me and I'm like, yeah, um, last night I was talking to God. He told me that you have a, you're a good person. You you have a demon following you. Like you have a spirit with you that's been following you everywhere. That's why you have sleep paralysis. That's why you this this and that. And she was just like, just like in shock, like, and she started crying because she was like, I've been dealing with this for so long, and she even had a relationship with God prior. Like she's had she's. She used to be in her word a lot. She got saved and she dedicated her life to Christ. But life has happened. Death of family members, this, this, and that has happened. And she's found herself walk away from God. And um, and she was sharing that with me. And as she shares that with me, I'm like, wow. Like, in mo recently, God has allowed me to see spirits on people and see through a spiritual lens instead of just like I'll look at someone and I could tell what they've been through without even knowing them now I don't get that with everybody but I remember I was walking to the airport coming to here and I was walking I saw like visions of people what they've been through in different in different and I'm like wow I've never experienced I've never had this before in my life and what I want to get this message is we continue talking and I pr we pray together and pray for the spirit to be off her and I, I fully believe she'll be healed from this um, but it's just crazy how God works like 
she said that she was she was thinking about not coming to 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 the camp just because she was like she didn't feel like leaving home but she ended up coming anyways not that i wasn't gonna come but i i god has been preparing me the last few months of like just reading how god really uses his people god really uses his people and um and how things happen and how god works like i don't know this girl i've just met her a few days ago but I could see things on her that she's not been able to figure out because of God. It's not because of me. God is just working through me. And I want to make that very clear. I'm not no special person. I'm just a vessel of God. That I am just just want to be obedient to his calling. When he speaks to me, I want to listen. And so um, this is just some, this is just encouragement. Like what you've been through is not who you are. What you're going through is not end all be all. Which what you what people have done to you, said to you, is not who you have to be. You don't have to be have that identity. You don't have to take on that weight. You're perfectly made in the image of God. God made us. He made us and the enemy does not have power or authority over our bodies because we God created us. The enemy does not have power. We can rebuke spirits away. We, they, they, the only way that they can have some type of control is if we open those doors to them. If we have the things and we allow our eyes, our ears, our souls to be open to those things. If we sell our soul for something. If we do things that are worshiping other gods. If we open doors to the enemy. But if we watch our ears, we watch what we say, we watch what we listen to, we watch, we watch what we do. We, we don't we don't open those those doors but that's why it's so important to be in tune with what is evil what is not from God what is from God because it's very it's a very thin line and in Ephesians um, 6 verse 10 it just talks about how spiritual you always have to be on guard you always have to pick up your word you always have to pick up your armor of righteousness the helmet of wisdom um, and the belt of truth we all we got to continue to pick up our weapons and, and and guard ourselves because the enemy is working hard to deceive people he's working hard to, to take people from god and rebuke you in the name of jesus he is working hard to, to to kill steal kill all the enemy wants to steal kill and destroy our souls he wants to steal steal kill and destroy our souls he wants to turn, have us turn away from god and not believe in god so stay strong y'all i believe in you guys i love you guys even though i don't know you guys I just want to share that and it's so important it's so so important to guard ourselves and just continue to continue to be in your word continue to pray continue to worship god and say thank you for all that he's done because he's working in amazing ways that we can't even we can't even imagine so yeah y'all this is a quick little word i'm just thankful to be a vessel for god i'm just thankful to be um uh, working for him and, and honoring him in any way I can. Good morning vlog. It's currently 7.26 right now. As you can see, 7.26. I'm about to head out soon. When you, when you um, are a Christian and you're close to God, there's going to always be spiritual warfare. So. Um, especially the enemy doesn't want you to spread the gospel, doesn't want you to revive people, doesn't want you to bring people closer to God and steal basically people back from the enemy. So, but yeah, so I'm getting ready. I got my mama's seat t-shirt on, got some champion shorts, and I get, just got some Nike socks on. I have a pile of laundry that I need to be done, that I need to wash, low key. Um, hopefully I can wash that today or something, but yeah, it's gonna be another great day. I'm gonna take y'all along the journey today. And let's go. And then we do something else, and then that's the first round. Thank you.